Hello and welcome to the research process. In this video, you'll learn how to identify and evaluate peer-reviewed or scholarly journal articles. I have to find peer-reviewed articles for my assignment. I'm not even sure what that means. Are they like Time Magazine or Newsweek? Not quite. Any other ideas? Well, I know the articles have been read and evaluated by experts before publication. That's right. However, they differ from magazines in a few ways. They usually start with an abstract. They have a bibliography. Sometimes they have a method section. And they often have a discussion or analysis section. And they usually have a conclusion section. So these clues will let me know if I'm using a scholarly article? Well, it's a pretty good start. However, those are only surface clues and are only a small step in choosing the best peer-reviewed articles. I notice some of the databases have a checkbox that limits to peer-reviewed or scholarly articles. That checkbox may help you filter out some of the articles that are not appropriate, but the checkbox does not evaluate the content of the article. You'll still find items that are not considered peer-reviewed even if they do show up on the list. For example, book reviews and editorials. So I should look for the surface features like abstract, bibliography, methods, discussion, and analysis. Then what should I do? You have to look at the article and see if it's addressing the issue you're trying to learn more about. As you're looking at the article, ask yourself these questions. Is the article directly related to my topic and is it useful for my research? Did the author use an appropriate method to answer the question he or she was seeking? And are the claims the author made supported by evidence presented in the article? That makes sense. If we only use the surface characteristics, then choosing the article would be kind of irrelevant. That's right. Only through careful evaluation can the best articles be selected. So let's review. Okay, I can use the surface or structural features of peer-reviewed articles like abstract, methods, analysis, and discussion, conclusion, and whether or not it has a bibliography to help sort through my results. Then, I have to evaluate each article carefully by asking questions. Is this article directly related to my topic? Did the author use an appropriate method? And is there evidence to support the author's argument? Excellent. You're now ready to identify and evaluate peer-reviewed articles. Go ahead and start searching or return to the main menu to watch another video.